Do you believe the Detroit Lions are going to win the NFC North in 2023? If so, you need to subscribe to this channel. Why is that? Because it's going to be lit. It's going to be a hell of a fun time, and I do live watch parties, and I can guarantee you if the Lions win the North, something that we haven't done, you're not going to want to miss out in what's taking place on here. Questions for the Lions this offseason. We got a ton, but in this video, I identify five questions that needs to be answered here. We got free agency coming up. We got the NFL draft. A lot of important dates about to happen, and we need some answers. And again, we're going to be talking about free agency, re-signing our own players, signing players that need to help out the team. NFL draft, what are players the Lions should target? Trade. Should we trade for a player that looks to be on the market and cut candidates for the Detroit Lions? The first player I want to talk about question and re-signing is DJ Chark. Will the Lions re-sign him? He was an integral part, I feel, to the second half of the Lions season last year. Him, Jared Goff, got on the same page, and they were getting done. Last year, he signed a one-year deal worth $10 million, but does he want more money? If so, we can't overpay, and with the free agent wide receiver market butt cheeks, teams like the Chicago Bears, who's got $100 million in cap space and a major need at wide receiver, may outbid the Detroit Lions. We look at his season the past four years, and last year... Last year, 11 games, three receptions, 502 yards, 16.7 average, three touchdowns. A lot of that was halfway through the season. The year before that, he only played in four games, obviously due to the injury. In 2020, 13 games, 706 yards and five tuts. In 2019, 15 games. So uh, part of this equation is can he be available through all the games? And clearly that's no, but... He is important to this football team, so it's a risk-reward regarding re-sign him. Is DJ Chark worth the money to resign? Say if it's around nine and a half to ten million a year, kind of like last year. Let me know in the comment section why for yes and and for no. Let's continue on here with another player. Will Jamal Williams resign with the Detroit Lions? Well, we think he is. I want him to be here. He's a very good piece to the Lions. He's a great leader. He gets touchdowns. That's what we need in Detroit, right? However, I did read an article saying that Deuce Staley could target Jamal Williams to go to Carolina because of the attributes he brings and the leadership skills. I, I hope he's back. What do you guys think? Let me know right now. Will Jamal Williams be back? In 2023, put RB2 in the comment section. If you think he comes back, put he gone. If you think he's gone, I got to tell you what. If he does leave, folks, we're going to be doing some uh, or Jamal Williams replacement videos. Same with DJ Chark. If these guys don't come back, you know we got to get into the games. We continue on here with more questions for our football team. We definitely got to look towards the NFL draft, and I think the NFL draft is the biggest part of the offseason. This is where we get better. This is where the team really builds the, the foundation, keep building that foundation that we did with Panay Sewell, TJ, Aiden Hutchinson, with all the players like Amon Ross St. Brown, James Houston, players that really built this team solidly you do through the NFL draft. So what is a target at least at pick six? One of the targets I think the Detroit Lions really should be looking at if he's available is Miles Murphy. I understand that we don't have a massive need at the edge position, but he is my number two edge in this year's draft. And I think he can play on some situations in the inside as well. He's got that prototypical size. He's shown that he can get the sacks, him and Aiden Hutchinson on the defensive line together, and you add James Houston on, on, on said downs, this pass rush is much improved. What happens when you get pass rush 
quarterbacks throw interceptions because they're unable to stand in the pocket long enough. And I think if the Lions have an opportunity to get him, for sure. Look, if Jalen Carter's sitting at six, you run to the podium and take it. I just don't know if that's going to be the case for the Detroit Lions. I just don't believe he's going to be there. He would be my number one target for sure. Another player you can target at pick six or even at 18, I think six is more realistic, is Devin Witherspoon, the cornerback out of Illinois. Very damn good cornerback. The guy is physical. He likes to hit. He would be perfect with Dan Campbell and what they're trying to do here. If you know Brad Holmes, Brad Holmes is all about getting players who fit Detroit. I think that's an underestimated of value that he brings this team and how he looks at talent. It's not just players that he thinks, okay, this is the best player, but it's how they fit this football team. And I think that's really important as well. Let me know in the comments section right now, should the Detroit Lions look to trade for cornerback Jalen Ramsey? Why for yes and for no? I want you to be the GM, let me know if they should do that. And obviously, we're getting into that right now. Should the Detroit Lions look to trade for cornerback Jalen Ramsey? We've heard it this offseason. We've heard it from potentially from L.A. wanting to get rid of him. Obviously, the connections with Brad Holmes and players that we get from the Rams, and we have a need at the cornerback position. Look, we've heard it. They are, it seems like they're shopping Jalen Ramsey for sure. He's still got two years left on his current deal. He is still a top cornerback in the NFL. I know he's he's a little bit older. We're talking about around 29 years old. And potentially he's not the same guy he was when he's 25, 26, but he's a damn good corner still. He does have a large cap hit. It would be approximately $17.5 million if you were to bring him in. It gets a little bit lower in the, the following year. That is something that you got to look at. Obviously, it's not just about player, but it's also about finances. Is he a player that you want in this room for the Detroit Lions? Is he a guy that you think the Lions should potentially look at as a locker room fit? Big questions, and it's all going to be there for Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. It's not all about, okay, well, we just trade this second-round pick. It's all of those put together. Personally, I would kind of pass on it, but I am not Brad Holmes, and I'm not you. You may completely di disagree with me. Maybe you want him, and that's perfectly fine. These are still questions that we need to look at. How about free agent targets? We got to look at free agency. We got to find players that's going to help this football team. One player that can do that is cornerback Jamel Dean over there from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a very good cornerback, one of the best in the NFL. And right now he is a free agent. And we know that Tampa Bay, at least I feel, I think we all feel that they could be a team in rebuild. It's going to cost the Lions some money, though. Three years per market value of spot track of $49.67 million. That is a average of 16.5. So it would be a little bit less than Jalen Ramsey, and you're still getting a, a kick-ass cornerback, but it's going to cost you a little bit. Other cornerback that you can look at in free agency is James Bradbury. He's a little bit older at 29, but he's still a very productive cornerback. It'd be three years, $51 million per spot track, around Jalen Ramsey's cost of $17.1 million, but he is the eighth-ranked cornerback in the NFL. Immediate up upgrade for the Lions. What if the Lions are what we think they are, a team that's looking for one-year deals and something that you potentially could get a, a little bit higher? It's low-cost, higher value, right? Like we do the one-year deals with Khalif Raymond as well as DJ Chark. That would be Brian Murphy from the Arizona Cardinals. He's young at 25. The reason why it'd be a one-year deal, he's had an injury this past season, but he's productive if you look through 
since he's been with the Arizona Cardinals. It'd probably be a year, one-year deal of $4.5 million. That would be very reasonable in something the Lions could afford if they're trying to save some money. Let's transition a little bit to the defensive tackle position. If they don't want to pay for Deron Payne, who I've talked about endlessly, how about Shy Tuttle for the New Orleans Saints? He's productive. Now, he's only the 29th-ranked defensive tackle in the NFL, but it's not going to cost you that much. An average of $6.3 million a year would be a two-year deal per spot track of $12,700,000. That is reasonable if you're trying to get a player that can help out the team and you're trying to re-sign an Isaiah Bugs and John Kaminsky. You can still get a young player who somewhat familiar with that can help out the team. In linebacker position, obviously we talk about Alex Anzalone and potentially re-signing him, but Leighton Vander Esch could be a target for the Detroit Lions. Another one-year deal, $2.5 million. Not cost a lot. It'd be a prove-it deal. Why? Because of his injury history. He's still young and he's, he is extremely productive when he is out there on defense. He is. And I think if the Lions are trying to do a one-year deal, a guy who does have a high ceiling, and you're going to draft a linebacker high anyways in this year's draft. Leighton Vander Esch could be a player, the Lions target to help out the depth on this team and make some splash plays. There's nothing wrong on doing a one-year deal with a player who potentially has a high upside, but there is questions due to injury. Folks, we got videos dropping on here every single day. Tomorrow, mailbag video. Get ready for that. The Super Bowl on Sunday. We're going to have a hell of a fun time with that because uh, I think uh, I should stream the Super Bowl. Let me know if you think I should stream it. Y for yes and N for no. With that said, folks, adios. Adios.